open, splits the timber, okay? So our dowel, our, sorry, our wedge, wants to be perpendicular. So as our piece of dowel opens, it's going to open this way, which won't cause the wood to split, okay? A really important. Is the piece of timber is overlapped either side, we're going to split that and drive a wedge in. What you have to have is the tip of your wedge must be well below the surface of this. So if your piece of wood here is sticking up too high and you split that and put a wedge in, the wedge may not actually even get as low as the, the yeah. top of the beam. So when you yeah. cut it off, you've got no strength. So what we'd be looking for is something about that high, that far off. If we look off the other end, it's too, too far. It's good in it. it. Flips it over and cracks the other side. Taps the wedge into there, turns it over, taps the wedge into here, and then trims them off. That's the way to get them. Push of scooters. Yeah. Red scooters. The other way of doing it is to clamp it into uh, the workbench. Good job. If you look at So a trunnel or tree nail is a very old way of fixing pieces of wood together. It avoids the need for any type of metal in the boat. Uh, iron in a boat causes rot. Um, these days we use stainless steel or bronze, um, but they're expensive. So this is a very simple way of connecting pieces of wood together. And it uses a, a little dial like this, uh, and then a little hardwood wedge. Uh, so as John explained at the start of the video, what, what we do is, uh, you can imagine um, this piece of wood, we're joining it together with another piece of wood. Um, so you, you drill your hole, um, pop in the trunnel, Down in, um, and then now it's important to point out the direction of the grain on this piece of wood is running this way. Um, and if we put the wedge in like this, uh, if everything here were to get wet and this wedge were to swell, it would want to push the timber apart, and that might mean a split in this piece of timber. Um, so, to avoid that, again, as John explained, we put the wedge in perpendicular to the lines of grain on the on the piece of timber. So I'll just split the end of the trunnel, uh, put in the wedge, tap that line in. Okay, when you hear the tone go hard like that, you know it's down in as far as it will go. And then cut this off flush. And it'll sound that smooth. Trunnel 